Hi guys, this video is about how to fix a problem with the rain gauge when it's stuck and doesn't work after a couple of years. So I had this 5-in-1 uh, accurate uh, weather station for about three years and the uh, no meter uh, the wind wind speed uh, meter stopped working after yeah these three years and so I replaced the hat with the old hat which uh, only has three uh, one one solar panel instead of two and yeah then I also um, yeah took the opportunity to check the rain gauge because it was also not working anymore i first had the idea that i have to replace the whole thing but at the end it now it's working everything again pretty well at least about same yeah, accuracy at at the beginning so you have to take everything apart there are a few screws of course it's a little bit of work and there's a little bit of dirt you will see so don't be afraid of that it's not dirt from me it's just the dirt from the outdoor i mean it comes from the trees below some or close to some trees and yeah with the wind a lot of pollen and other things are blown into the whole thing so it's just nature and maybe a few mosquitoes are in there i couldn't figure out what, what everything it is but mostly it's just pollen and such things so you can see everything here here we have the rain gauge so i already took it uh, out so you can see uh, here we have the magnets and here we have the wipe so let's continue a little bit yeah here you can see yeah the thing which measures the water yeah and here you have the thing which uh, yeah it is secured like the uh, metal thing and so you see it's totally rusty and it was secured with the screw and the washer on the knees and when it was getting rust so it was totally stuck it couldn't it was not able to uh, go uh, back and forth which uh, it has to be to measure the rain you can see so actually you don't have to um, screw take the screw out uh, totally you can just loosen the screw a little bit and then can you can pull it out uh, so it's easier to put it back i just uh, screwed uh, I, I took out the screw to to see that uh, this is also rusty so you can uh, you know where to clean so if you want to clean that you can take the screw out but it's actually not needed maybe you can put a few drops of oil here as well and so here you 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 see you see the axle actually which is totally rusty so yeah and uh, yeah you can clean the whole thing a little bit with some oil and tissue but uh, if you don't want just put enough oil on that and it will do the job again for a couple of years i guess so you can uh, then put the screw in before you to uh, yeah apply the axle again so no need to put on the axle first and then the screw you can put in the screw first of course you have to um, use the washer on the knees again but yeah anyway i mean it, it it will work also without the washer i've tried this and you can take 
like uh, the old screw or a new screw and you don't actually need to wash it it's just a little bit additional security so because it's overlapping a little bit more but it's not needed actually you can see here a, a screw only will do the job anyway so that's the uh, upper part so it, it, it it's pretty uh, pretty easy just loosen the screws put a little bit oil then move it uh, back and forth and yeah secure it again or even uh, yeah clean the whole thing uh, clean out the rust and yeah blow out the dirt or yeah vacuum it and put it back in place and it will do the job for a couple of more years i guess so yeah i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you liked the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time